What's well, good, YouTube? So today I just wanted to show you guys a few of these Kemi Moto products that I received. We'll start off with this one. It's the belt remover they carry. Comes with a set of instructions, but I'll show you guys how to use it further along on this video. Uh, we'll test it out and see how it works out. Uh, here it is. Comes with this like silicone protector. Um, I suggest you guys leave this on to protect the threads on this because they are aluminum. And then of course this, you'll need that to make it work. Also got this belt. It's a little different from the ones I'm used to seeing. Um, just the way, the way it looks. And then let's see what else we got. We got a dome light. I thought this one was pretty cool. Especially nowadays that here in Arizona we do a lot of night riding. A dome light is recommended. This is the the best way if you don't know how to do any wiring to run a light inside. Um, this light's actually rechargeable. Oh. Pretty bright too. Oh, United States flag. It's a nice detail there. Comes with the cord. And I think it goes here. Yep, right there. It is removable, I think. There we go. Yep. So I'll show you. We'll install all this here shortly. I also got a set of these bags. They're the door bags from Kemimoto. Let me show you guys real quick. I'll get one out. Um, so if you guys know, my Can-Am doesn't use the stock doors anymore. That's a L for the left, left door. Like a cell phone or, or some, something that fits in there. Nice. They seem like really good quality too. But we'll try them out. I got my friend's Can-Am outside. Um, it's a two-seater, so we'll set up and see how these go on there. So I'm going to do a quick install on this. I already installed the passenger side. Um, I didn't know these were removable. It's a knee pad. Let me just snap it off. And it's pretty much all Velcros. Um, I suggest you just start them off and then once you have them all on then um, you make the adjustment to get them a little bit more tight. So with the knee pad, you could either go with it on or off. Um, it really depends on your liking. I know that some people have the upgraded latch. If you're running that latch, um, it might be in the way of this. But if you're just running the OEM strings or latch handles, you should be fine.
belt right on the first. I'm gonna do the bottom one first. Have a little bit of more clearance at the top. So if you do the bottom first, the top one should be a lot easier. Got the Velcro ran. Oops. Hold it. Got your knee pad. This one you could do a drink or your cell phone. And it, it opens up so it stretches more. And then you got your main bag right here. With two zippers. And the space is pretty good for whatever you want to carry on there. Let me show you. Got the passenger side on as well all right so i'm going to be showing you guys how to use this kemimoto belt remover tool um i did see that there's a certain way you use it so make sure that you're it's facing this way so let me take this cover off you put the ring like this so the wheel bearings when you open it up it grabs on like that so it slides because if you were to do it this way it'll slide but it'll be a little bit harder just because it's hitting here so let me get this on um also when you're installing don't force it make sure it catches the the threads good because the threads this tool is aluminum so you can either turn the clutch or the, the tool there we go you just pull it there we go it should lock in place you get your belt Do the front here. Lock it in place. Run it through the primary and the secondary. Release it. So it's actually not bad. I mean, they all do the same thing. It's just mainly the design. This one you can undo this bar for better storage. You want to keep these together. And then all you do is spin your secondary until the belt gets a little tight. There we go, and we're all set. 
So I like that it has a a pretty long grip. It feels pretty good. So Kimimoto belt remover tool. I really recommend it. I'll try and get some discount codes for you guys. I'll post them on the video on the description. Um, but yeah, if you don't have one, I recommend it. I wanted to show you guys the dome light. Um, this is a really good idea for those that don't know how to do any wiring or don't want to spend too much on wiring a dome light. Um, this is a quick option. It has a, your spotlight and your floodlight. This one actually lights up the whole Can-Am here and it has a perfect spot here. Uh, I'll show you guys as soon as it gets a little darker. Um, it does velcro on. The velcros were, they seem pretty good quality. Got my American flag right there. And then the other option is that it's removable. So you can light up certain things if you needed to. Your floodlight, probably can't see it much, but um, it also has a little magnet here so if you were to be working on a certain spot and you need to put it up you can attach it to any piece of metal and it'll hold yep so got your little connector there it doesn't work run off of removable batteries so you you do have to charge these so that, that to me it's a good option. You don't have to be wasting on batteries. Um, so as soon as it gets a little darker, or maybe I'll throw it in the garage so you guys can see how much it lights up. But pretty easy install, like I said. Just Velcro it up. Can-Am has uh, a few of these bars. If you wanted to run two of them, good fitment there. Um, I actually have one on my Can-Am as well right there so i'll eventually be running a switch panel and i'll include some dome lights because i still need to install some ruck lights but those are the products i wanted to show you guys today so i threw the can-am in the garage i just wanted to show you guys the light so that's the spotlight setting it has two settings this one's a flood So it pretty much lights up everything in this two-seater. If you have a four-seater, I'd probably recommend two sets of them. But that's all that's on right now. And it is removable. So that's flood. And then this one's a spotlight. So not bad.